Boy, you sure don't see that anymore. That is an old school sign. This is an old school gas station. Honestly, check it out. These gas pumps are from the 50s. You just don't see that kind of thing nowadays. What's up, you guys? Chet Guthrie, the dream poet here, coming to you all from my home state, Tennessee. To be more of a specific, we are out here in Calvin. It is a, a small, small Tennessee town. Sits right along the Middle Tennessee border in the Cumberland Plateau. But anyway, guys, today the reason why we are out here is we have come to check out the Cowan Railroad Museum. But first, let's just check out what's in here. There are a group of old cars in there. Check that out. And plus, those things are restored as well. You got to imagine, back in the day, this must have been a happening place. And I wonder what is in here. Cowan, Texaco, an old school gas station. And looks like here, for a nominal fee, you could get yourself some gas. Or maybe not so much gas, it, it would probably be air. You wouldn't want to put gas in your tires. That's, that's not a good thing. While I was on my way to the museum, this caught my eye. This does look like it's another park. It looks like this park is dedicated to Major John Cohen. Looks like he was the early pioneer settler and his cabin was for a time the, uh, the city's courthouse. And it does appear that the Major's cabin still stands. A little bit of information describes what the Major's house was. This was the first courthouse from 1807 to 1814. So about seven years, Major William Ruskell, Russell. And this was reconstructed in April of 1975. So imagine way, way back when, before all this was built, this was the main building. The main building where you'd get your taxes, where you get, well, I wouldn't say really permits, but I wonder if there's like any way we can see what's inside. Probably the best way we can tell if there is a window in the back. And it does look like there is a window. So maybe, just maybe, we can see what's inside. It does look like there is a bed of some sort. But it does kind of appear that, uh, front door is kind of leaning crooked to one side so maybe just maybe we can stick this in here we can see that this is a pretty nice recreation I imagine it's probably only open on certain times of the year I love this kind of stuff especially stuff that has been around for close to a hundred years and it's still standing That's cool. Now this railroad track that runs right through town, there is a lot of cool history associated with the railroad that was a part of, uh, of this train track right here. You see, this train track used to be the NNC Railroad, or more or less, uh, Nashville and Chattanooga Railroad. And this railroad here right behind me, it had the longest railroad tunnel in the entire world at the time. And during the Civil War, since the um the north well no pardon me the confederacy could not take over this uh this tunnel this allowed braxton bragg and general sherman to uh, actually it was general sherman to get his stuff along on his way uh, on the burning to the sea and it also had the steepest railroad grade of any uh, of any other railroad in the united states at the time Well, this is very unfortunate. It does look like we caught the museum right as it closed. But that will not stop us from checking out these trains, which is really honestly the thing we came for. 
but since we're talking about this building right here uh from 1904 up until 1971 this was uh cowan's train depot huh would you look at that that is awesome it's even got tracy city branch the southbound branch and the main line but to get back to what we were talking about 1904 to 1971 this was an active uh active railroad depot and for about six years this building sat uh empty up until about 1978 when this was moved here to uh, the city of cowan and just check out the size of that railroad bay door or i should say a freight door way way back when this is where they would bring all the freight out probably put it down on a ramp of some sort down onto the uh the tracks or the uh the stoop what have you and that's where they would load the train but now let's talk about what we came here for the trains yes i love the choo-choos we'll start out with these little guys you see these little engines right here these are maintenance cars you see periodically the railroad they would take these kind of uh, small cars and they would uh, run them up and down the tracks and they would really check out for anything that is related to uh, any damaged track anything of that sort and um, there's actually a really fun sport that is associated with these uh, with these little rail cars you see if you can buy one of these things which i don't think they're only like maybe five four five thousand dollars a piece but you can put these along these old pieces of track and you can ride them up the mountains i mean just as long as you kind of like signal to the bigger locomotives that are out there it's a pretty fun hobby honestly i wish i could if i had five thousand dollars i'd get in on it but i don't got five thousand dollars now let's check out this bad boy this is the the main engine that you do want to see while out here in cowan now there was a story about how uh, the city of cowan or i should say the town of cowan acquired this uh this uh train i forgot exactly how they did um but it was restored sometime in 2008 so i'm wondering if maybe maybe just maybe like in a previous vlog um maybe it just kind of had a similar fate where it was just kind of sitting somewhere unused and was just kind of rusting away i mean like i wonder what all they had to do I and mean, maybe i can find some old pictures and show it to you guys it's really pretty and it does appear that we can go up it so what's see what they got here dude yes I think how many engineers railroad conductors must have touched all these switches all these lines I think honestly I think this is a coal burner but uh yep renovated in the summer of 2008 by Mark Phillips and Wade Wilson so imagine a hot summer day Railroad conductors or engineers just kind of sitting at the helm and going up the steepest railroad grade in the entire world. Kind of scary, but fun at the same time. Now I am fairly certain that this train car must have come with the locomotive. I mean, it only makes sense, but then again, you don't really know. Huh. I imagine this probably used to be some kind of freight car, freight locomotive, not freight car, freight car. Maybe this is where they would load lumber. Well, let's see what they got inside. Car is locked when the museum is closed. And it just kind of looks like, looks like they're still renovating that one. I know there's a story with this caboose, but I forgot what it was exactly. Now, well, it looks like it's kind of a, kind of used for storage on the inside. I'll say they've done a pretty good job on taking care of this one. I really, 
really like their old rustic red color. It's really awesome. Huh. I feel like they're kind of hiding this one. But then again, I mean, from the main road, you're probably bound to see the locomotive all the time. But that is a really, really awesome, uh, a really awesome little diesel. I think these operated from the 1940s, 1950s, I believe, back when di or back when diesels were really becoming mainstream within uh, the engineering and locomotive world. It looks like we have another Dixieland steam or another Dixieland railroad car. I never would have guessed that this is out here at a small town. <laughs> this was awesome. I recommend people check this place out. It's a really awesome community. It's very quaint, it's very laid back. And if you want to know about some railroad history, um, this, uh, this ride, the Cowan Railroad Museum is open uh, 10 to 4. I believe it's about 10 to, 10 to 4, uh, Thursday through Saturday. And on Sunday, it's open uh, 10 to 4. But anyway, guys, this is going to be another vlog. Remember, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Always means a lot. Goes to show that y'all care and y'all want to see more awesome videos. So without further ado, you guys, vlog over.